Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I don't have a slide, but I have very important information that uh, to share with you. Uh, I would like to start by thanking uh, the organizer for inviting me. And I also would like to congratulate the German people on the 25th anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall. Uh, my uh, topic will not be uh, focused on Qatar stock market and how to invest, uh, but uh, I will talk more about sustainability. And we have also Qatar 2030 vision where we also cover this area. There is a general acceptance in the international community that human activity is contributing to the climate change and that action is needed. In 1987, report entitled Our Common Future, the United Nations World Commission on Environment and Development defines sustainable development as that which meets the need of the present without compromising the ability of the future generation to meet their own needs. To achieve sustainable development, we require an action plan, one which is adapted by both government and institutions which focus on meeting the needs of future generation without compromising those of our current generation. I would like to focus on the importance of sustainable development, but particularly those dimensions which relate to economic integration and cooperation. All nation states and societies are exposed to the vigorous uh, vicissitudes of the global economy. A country cannot thrive in the isolation as each relies on a trade without and the support of other nation. Every economy is dependent on a customer for their product. We are very fortunate in the Gulf Cooperation Council countries that our energy resources are in great demand at this time. But these resources are finite and technological innovation and environmental concern will over time have an impact on demand. Introducing the Qatar national vision for 2030, His Highness the Amir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani underlined the wisdom of balancing and building a bridge between the needs and the interest of both present and the future generation. Qatar has an ambiguous sustainable development plan which address social, environmental, and economic factors in terms of the utilization of natural resources and also has a clear vision of the society it wishes to create. His Highness envisage vibrant and prosperous country in which there is economic and social justice for all and where, uh, and where nature and man are in harmony. Qatar is an open, broad business uh, economy which is currently experiencing a strong growth across all sector. Our ambition is to play a more influential role, both diplomatically and economically. In the region and internationally, Qatar is fortunate in that it has been bestowed with a great asset, and it is the exploitation of this asset that provides us with the opportunity to develop and pursue our sustainable development goals. By 2030, Qatar aimed to be an advanced society capable of providing a high standard of living for all of its people. We have a dynamic, enthusiastic young population that's been educated to a very high standard and they are eager to take up careers to reap the world that the 20th century offers. The national vision also provides guidance on the major challenges facing Qatar in the pursuing the sustainable development agenda. This includes embracing modernization, but preserving tradition and cultural heritage, recognizing the need of the current generation without compromising those of the future generation, and embracing and encouraging economic growth without compromising social development and uh, the environment. The Qatar 2030 vision 
also identify four pillars of sustainable development. This being the development of the human capital to sustain a prosperous society, social development to create a just and caring society, economic development to build a competitive and diversified economy, and environment development to ensure that there is a harmony between economic growth, social development, and environment protection. These strategies are interrelated as a human development accommodate the adoption of sustainable innovation technologies which support the goal of achieving sustainable economy. The policy of national wealth distribution through the involvement of citizens in privatization initiatives result in achieving sustainable social and the human development. Sustainable economic development requires the diversification of economy away from dependency in oil and gas industries which are um, uh, which, uh, with an emphasis on private sector development. This requires support for innovation and entrepreneurship, encouraging diversification and to bring long-term value to the economy. It also requires investment in infrastructure and service delivery. Stock change play an important role in the capital raising mechanism of national economy by providing liquidity for investors and through this giving both established and young entrepreneurial companies access to develop fund. At Qatar Stock Exchange, we believe we can and should play a significant role in promoting sustainability as imperative by introducing and supporting initiatives with, which deal with environmental, social, <coughs> and governance issues. Our listed companies cover a large cross-section of the Qatar economy, representing approximately two-thirds of total economic output. They are therefore key to setting the sustainability agenda and influencing other sectors and participants with the economy. We are also con conscious that to maintain our own relevance and influence, we must ourselves be as sustainable as a business. We must ensure that our own corporate strategy is aligned with the state uh, with that of the state of Qatar, and that we continue to create value, diversify our revenue, invest, and develop our human and corporate capital so that we can continue to uh, exert influence and act as an enabler for economic growth for the benefit of the country and its people. We must also be mindful of our own environmental impact credential to ensure that we set an example to the business community. The mission of Qatar Stock Exchange is to offer a diversified range of investment and trading opportunity for investors and members, and to be important, important domestic and regional capital market for issuer to raise capital. As with all na uh, national exchange, we play a pivotal role in the domestic and international economy through meeting this objective. We also have a responsibility for ensuring that all of our market participants can trade fairly and efficiently on our platform. This imposes a duty on us to ensure that our investors and members have sufficient information to make appropriate investment decision. We currently expend considerable effort on education, uh, concentrating primarily on attracting a new investor to the market. The Sustainable Stock Exchange Initiatives provide a forum for exchange to explore a way in which they can work together with investors, regulators, and companies to promote corporate transparency on environmental, social, and corporate governance issues with the aim of encouraging responsible and sustainable investing. We are aware of and fully endorse these objectives and are keen to align ourselves with them at the earliest opportunity. The advantage of being able to leverage the um, opportunity, uh, the advantage of being able to leverage the collective experience of all these major exchange are manifold and we wish to be an integral part of a movement which promotes sustainable capital market and encourage sustainable investment principles. Within Qatar, we concur with the view that specific codes of behavior should be adapted by companies and their officer 
and this should be supported by appropriate incentivization, regulation, or legislation. This code should actively promote transparency and compliance with international best practice. Companies should be encouraged or mandated to adopt corporate social responsibility, uh, responsibility policies, which actively monitor and ensure compliance with ethical and international standards with regard to environmental, social, and governmental issues. We accept, therefore, that we need to do more to educate all market participants in the principle of socially responsible investing and improving the financial literacy of investor and provide, uh, provider of service so that they, too, can contribute to sustainability initiatives. This will also require us to develop, adapt, and promote specific measures, such as indices and analysis tool, which can assist in identifying and recognizing the contribution that individual companies make to the sustainability agenda. We need also to be active in encouraging more of our company to list on the exchange so that we can offer a wider choice or, uh, to our investor, but also so that they too can contribute to building a sustainability economy. In order to achieve this, however, companies will require to provide information on their activities and the strategies and measures they have adopted to meet sustainability objectives. This places the onus on us to work with government agencies, regulators, member and listed companies to develop appropriate mechanism and metrics which allow performance to be measured and comparison to be made. The exchange should also encourage and promote research into sustainability issues so that companies and market participants are made aware of and can act upon issues of concern to investors. The aim is to make companies more accountable to shareholders and the economy at large for their business activities and any action they take which could be deemed to threaten economic or environmental sustainability. We also want to encourage shareholders to become active steward of the companies in which they invest. Ultimately, it is the shareholder who will drive change in corporate behavior by adapting social responsible investing principle. Those companies which demonstrate their commitment to sustainable development will attract greater investor interest that, uh, uh, than those which do not. This investment decision and the resulting changes in corporate behavior will be instrumental in creating a sustainable and inclusive economy in Qatar. We are also very keen as an exchange to encourage family-owned company to list in our stock change. The family-owned companies in the GCC country is not attracted to the stock change to raise capital. Most of these companies are, are cash rich, rich, so they didn't want to come to the market for raising capital, but also most of them, they coming for sustainability, but they are coming in a few numbers. The, privat uh, the privatization of government-owned companies is also an uh, area where we are uh, keen to see more listing of the government-owned com company in the stock market, but also we are mindful that these, some of these companies are of strategic uh, concern to the government, and they need to keep them for some time for, uh, before they are listed. We know at Qatar Stock Change, we know that Qatar Stock Change has an important role to play both now and in the future, and we are excited by the challenge we face as an emerging market. We are conscious of the responsibility we have in the development and the promotion of the sustainability agenda in the state of Qatar. Shukran. Thank you. I hope this was not boring. As I don't have a slide, I was going to use Rashid's slide, but he left. <laughs> Thank he, you very he much. Had the same nature almost. Thank you, Mr. Alman Zuri. Other questions or remarks? Yes, you want to ask which stock stock exchange is the best one for your investment? <laughs> you have the whole um, Emirates. 
Thank I think, you. I, I think I answered one of your questions. W which one did you answer? I, I think you talk about you know how the, the exchange will you know maintain the sustain, uh, sustainability for themselves. I you raised that question. I think that was a ringing mantra in your thing. You know, it was sustainability, sustainability, sustainability. Yes, and that's um, yes. But uh, pretty much the content of sustainability was something we'll have a, a discussion over lunch on yeah. that one. So we won't go there. Okay. That's okay with you. Okay. But what I would like to, especially with your colleague who spoke before, you spoke about um, corporate accountability. Mm -hmm. And I think either your colleague took the wind out of your sails when he said, you can't take a stick and beat the corporations. You've got to make them make I don't know. He, he's uh, from Abu Dhabi and from Qatar. So. I, I, I knew somewhere I'll be able to split this Siamese twin, you know, okay. financial Siamese twin situation. But nonetheless, um, let's go back to that and the cash rich families. So we'll, just two questions, if you may, if that's okay with you. The first one is in regards to the stakeholders. Our stakeholders don't normally tend to be ethical. They actually are capitalists. I mean, that's what stakeholders in this thing, you wanted which one I'll go to after the question I can decide. <laughs> so stakeholders don't tend to be ethical, but you are maybe with your intent, want them to be ethical. What kind of controls can you have on someone who has his cash and wants to do to maintain profit? And like you said, stakeholders who will drive change in you talk social, responsible, and ethical. What kind of impact or guidance would you have to maintain that kind of corporate um, culture? And the second one is this family rich, this whole idea of family rich businesses, which are cash rich, don't want to come into the stock exchange because they're not trying to engage with capital from that market, but they want to come for sustainability. I think that was a little gray in why they would want to come if they didn't want to come for the cash. And maybe I know you've got the answer, if you can expand on that. Thank you very okay, much. Thank you. First of all, all of the listed companies in our stock market, without taking a stick to them, they have to have some kind of corporate governance. It's, it's by the regulator themselves. Um, second, uh, I think through education. And the, the, as I said in my uh, speech, the investor, educated investor who care about the environment and sustainability, who will make the right decision to invest and encourage the company that is have some kind of social responsibility. Okay, so it, it will create some kind of com, uh, competitiveness between the companies where the investor will be more interested to, in, to invest in those companies which really have some kind of social responsibility and going away from those companies which really don't care about the environment or they don't have any kind of code of ethic or they don't, uh, uh, let's say, they are causing some environmental harmness. Some companies still do that, but of course, it is our vision to, uh, really to have our companies, whether listed or not listed, to be educated and the investor educated the importance of uh, social responsibility, okay? And uh, your uh, third question is about the family rich company. This is, you know, the family owned companies create, they own 80% almost of companies in an oil business. And they're very rich uh, companies. And they didn't want to come to the market because they didn't want to disclose it. They didn't want to disclose information or lost power on the company because they think we create this company. Why should I go and give it to someone else in the market who can sit in the board and tell me what to do? That's their worries. But also some of them are conscious that at some kind of generation of the family, this company could be in danger if the group of, you know, some family are big. And, uh, you, you know, in, uh, in the Arab world, you know, um, we like to have big families. And generation will create a problem and the company could be in danger. So they come to the uh, stock change, not because the need of the capital or the cash, they come 
for sustainability. They want really to this business to continue through governance, uh, to be uh, a public company and to be listed in the market. And this will also provide a very good exit for any family member on that company and to, uh, any new investor. So these are the main concerns for them, that they have a cash, they back, their, they back up their business with the other assets like real estate and other things. But these are the main concern for them to really uh, you know, save the company uh, if the founder of that company disappear for any reason. Thank you. Thank you. Well, another question in the first row. Uh, Mr. Rashid, uh, it's a great presentation of Prof. Samida from the papers. I was going to ask your Siami friend, you know, the other. Uh, you mentioned uh, quite well that most of your investors are individuals at the moment. Say again? Most of the investors at the moment are the individual at the stock exchange, right? Yes. And you are trying to promote corporate investor because that's more sustainable per se. Do you have a percentage and what is your vision to cross the gap? Because that's a problem. All the Gulf <coughs> stock exchanges, Saudi, Bahrain and all others are facing. How to translate into corporate investors rather than staying with individuals? Okay. We have um, uh, almost 11% of the shareholders are uh, foreign investors, but they make more than 30% of the daily turnover with 11%, and the rest are Qataris. The individuals are doing a great daily on the you know, uh, stock uh, turnover, but our aim to really have more institutional uh, trading and also to educate the market and the individuals on how to invest their capital <coughs> within institutions, okay? And we are doing some progress on this. Soon we will be introducing the ATFs to Qatar market. Also we are promoting the asset management on Qatar. Um, I think this is very good for uh, the market. If you compare the Arab world to Europe, you will find more individual trading in the Arab world, in the GCC, and you find more institutional in Europe. So we are progressing in this, and we are, you know, uh, with, this, with the opening of the investment for the foreign investor, we are also introducing the experience of these uh, uh, institutions. Qatar Financial, uh, Financial Center, which is also, you know, ensuring, um, which is an authority where um, foreign institution can open office and get some kind of privilege to uh, have business in Qatar with very, I mean, with no um, uh, higher cost, are promoting the asset management business in Qatar. So we are starting to see if you, so are, now I think there is uh, two or three institutions are starting the business in Qatar and we're having more than three ATFs will be listed soon in our market.